I'm starting off this DIY with garden dishes that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'll take one and make a mark in the middle and I'll be making an opening there using a heat gun. I'll be making a hole somewhere in the middle at the top and it will be where I'll be mounting this to the wall. I'm making a unique wall scone. So these are Dollar Tree glasses that I'll be using for this DIY. And all I'll be doing now is gluing both glasses together with a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun. I want this to be flat on the garden dish. So I'm gonna lay it down and see how I can add a little bit of gems to make sure that it has enough contact to the garden dish. I mistakenly cracked this part up here, so I'm gonna cover it up with larger gems. This will be my light source for this DIY, and you can get something like this in any home improvement store. I'll be putting it inside the garden dish, and then using zip ties to attach the lighting to the glasses. I'm also going to be adding a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun to make sure that everything's going to be glued together. Now I'm going to be using gems to cover up the corners and the zip tie. I will not be decorating the garden dish because I want the glasses to look like they're suspended up. Now this is where the nail is and this is how I mounted this to the wall. This is what it looks like if you want it bare. And then you can also add embellishments to it to suit your style. I'm going to be using full flowers and spray painting them silver and then attaching them to the glasses. I added little gems there and then when I was done I mounted it to the wall and you can obviously see just the glasses and the flowers more than the garden dish and that was the whole idea to see it suspended from afar now there's another way that you can have this two glasses together with a garden dish for a wall sconce I'm gonna be repeating the same thing that I did for the first garden dish by making a hole in the middle The next thing I'm going to do is glue on white pebbles to the side of the garden dish. So I will want the middle to come out a little bit more. So then I went ahead to cut out a round board from a foam board and covered the top with gold contact paper and then also added another foam board at the bottom to make it a little bit thick and then I attached it to the garden dish. I will need the two glasses to be together to give me the exact amount of space that I would need for the middle.
After adding this to the middle, I'm going to be using glue around it. Like I said, I need the middle to come up a bit more. So these are other pieces that I'm going to be adding here to lift up the glasses. I'll be using remote control LED lighting and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. It is self-adhesive and I'm attaching it around the edges of the garden dish. This is where the battery pack is going to be installed to make it easy to change the batteries. Now I'm going to be holding down the wires with tape. And then when I was done, I took it out and I spray painted it gold, but then realized I needed pebbles at the top and then I spray painted the whole thing gold. So I had to remove the middle part here with a nail polish remover. Now I'm going to be gluing the two glasses together and then attaching it to the garden dish. I'm going to be adding embellishments on the top and around the glasses. When I was done, I mounted it on the wall and this is what it looks like. It's so pretty just by itself and with the lights on, it looks even better. This is pretty all by itself, but imagine if I had two of them on the wall, it would look so much better. Here's how the first and second DIY look like together. I have another video that is a bit similar to what I just made here and this one was made a while back. And if you're interested in watching the entire video, I will leave a link for that down in the description box below. In this DIY, I used one large candle holder, but here I used two wine glasses and it still turned out so pretty. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.